Well, we finally come down to this, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> oh boy. It's almost surreal that it's actually happening. <laughs> What's up, people of the world? It's me again, Alex Wimmer, aka AP3 Jumped. Welcome to the vlogs 93. Well, you read the title, so I'm not gonna waste any time. Because. Believe it or not, I finally got this damn thing. I finally got it. I finally got myself the Nintendo Switch. Yes, I have the black version, but beggars can't be choosers. And uh, <laughs> after the holidays, these were the only ones at the head. And yeah, I, that, that was a mature decision on my part. I thought I, I thought I should just suck it up and just get the one with the black joy cons and not and since I didn't have the one with the the one with the red and blue joy cons, so I figured Well you, <laughs> you either you get either you get the switch or you don't get the switch. Like it doesn't matter what color you get. Just be grateful we have the goddamn thing and I am. I mean this is so fucking surreal. And let's see what it I don't know what comes with. So yeah this I don't know what the fuck that's all about, but anyway, uh, see so it comes with the Nintendo, the Switch console, the Joy Cons, the L and R, uh, they're both great, and uh, the Joy Con straps it does come with those high speed HDMI cable, the Nintendo Switch dock, the, the Joy Con grip, the Nintendo and the Nintendo Switch AC adapter, as, as in the thing you plug into the fuck into the damn wall. But yeah, I'm a. Uh, this is a. Uh, I wonder if I should uh, stand it right there. I don't know. Now I'm gonna do it on the floor. I kind of like doing vlogs on the floor. Oh yeah, the game. The game. I finally got Super Mario Odyssey. And my throat hurts too much for me to be able to do the voice. But yeah, I ran, I'll give you a random fun fact right away. Mario's out of all the four plumbers, Mario's voice is the hardest for me to do. Because his voice is so damn high. <laughs> All the other... Oh. Oh. Wow. Oh my god. I can't believe I actually have one of these fucking things. Holy shit. So yeah, this comes like this. Yep, we finally reached it. The Nintendo Switch vlog, ladies and gentlemen. I haven't done a vlog like this where I showcase a game console since the, since the Nintendo 3DS vlog I did way back in 2012. And I showed everything that was in that. There's a lot of bubble wrap in here. Oh. Uh, and, uh, so, uh, yeah. I swear, my, I keep twitching for some damn reason. <sighs> and, yeah, you probably, probably know what the hell this thing is. And, uh, this is, um, well, I like these, I, I, I love this material, whatever the hell it is. And, yeah, we got the, we got the actual uh, Joy-Con controller thing, and um, what's this? Oh, the Joy-Con, oh, both the Joy-Con straps, and one fell out. <laughs> so, so they all rolled over and one fell out. <laughs> yeah, that's what they look like. They fell, they fell out, and uh, I'll be, be able to do that later. And um, is the HDMI cord, and um, uh, this is uh, what's this? This um. The dock. Where's the dock? This is what this is the dock out there. And uh, <clears throat> uh ooh, this thing is so small yet it's so awesome. Yeah, I finally got one of these fucking things. Like, sorry about so many f bombs, but this is I'm so excited. I'm cursing because I'm excited. And yeah, oh, you look real closely. There's thing. Here's the, it's like where, you know, the sensors and whatnot go. I, I'm going to look into getting those switch covers. And uh, Nathaniel Bandy, I want to get his switch cover if I can. I don't, I don't, I don't know if he can buy those or not. I don't know if that was made specifically for him. But I'm going to look into switch covers, like, just in case. I'm going to, like, find out where to buy them first off. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, this vlog is nothing. It's going to be nothing but an unboxing video, and uh, so yeah, I'm just gonna open everything up here. And uh, ooh, sorry, I keep doing that. But oh, wow! Plus, 
minus. So yeah, the plus is on um, the, uh, the left Joy-Con and the, the L is on uh, the right Joy-Con. Or wait, no, it has it on both sides. Yeah, it's got plus and minus on both sides. Yeah, I know I'm way late on this, but who the hell cares? I don't think it matters all that much. Let's get the, the Joy-Cons. The Joy-Con boys, <laughs> Attica World Network, the Joy-Con boys. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how we made a fake switch, by the way. I don't know how we did that all those months ago. But, uh, yeah. These things are, like, really tiny. I finally have these sons of bitches. Oh, the plus and the mice buttons are, like, they're actual buttons. Oh, <laughs> SL and SR. Weird. That is really weird. SL and SR. Let's see how it feels like actually trying to move this. Yeah, holding this like this is... Excuse me. Holding this like this is weird. To be quite honest. It feels very tight. Like, my hands are way too damn big to, to play like this. How about the other side? Let's try the other side. I do love the yin-yang design that the Switch has and the controller and the yin-yang logo. Oh yeah, there's the, the buttons on the side, but I'll get to that in a sec. This is weird. Now I'm going to... I'm going to connect it to the side here, see how... Um... Okay, that's how you do that. And, uh... uh okay. Son of a bitch. I'm having a hot... Okay, that's how you do that. There you go! And the buttons are in the side, on top right here. I'm very excited, guys, that I finally have this thing. I'm finally going to be able to play Super Mario Odyssey and get this and get some other games in the future. Like, whoa, this is... Last but not least is the dock. I need to be very careful with taking this thing out. Because, uh, I don't want to... I don't want to break it or anything like that. Yeah, the dock is like... It's like an inch thick. That's what she said. You fall thick. Damn, this thing is heavy. This thing is heavy. But yeah. The logo's on the back, and it's got this kind of bag, and uh. Ooh, hoo hoo. Ooh, the buttons are on top of here, I think. There's, yeah, the game card, you put it on top of here. Yeah, you put it on top of there, to the top right. And there's even a headphone jack, of course. Or the kickstand, the kickstand, wait, the kickstand. Kick, how the, how the fuck do you open this? Uh, uh I don't wanna break it. Kickstand, aha! <laughs> I finally have something with a kickstand because I've never gotten any kind of cell phone with a kickstand. So yeah, I finally have a kickstand. <laughs> yeah. This, I'm just so overjoyed by this. Yeah, this is what the back looks like and we all know what the front looks like. So yeah, I'm going to pause the video right now. Oh, I just figured out how you take these things out. There's a button right here. I think that's how you take it out. And I think this right here is the, the Amiibo scanner. And uh... You gotta be very careful with taking these things out. Oh god, I really seriously gotta wonder how the HD rumble is on on this thing. And uh, yeah, baby, Joy-Con boys. <laughs> uh, you know I'm gonna keep constantly referencing that. Ooh, yeah, it's very long. <laughs> it feels comfortable. It's still kind of heavy, like the Wii U gamepad. It's still kind of heavy, but obviously has a much sleeker design. And uh, yeah. Joy-Con boys, <laughs> and there's actually good lighting in here, what do you know? <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to put it on the slide, see how that feels. And, uh, damn it. I'm having a hard time with this. Shit. Okay, there you go. Yeah, I, I, I'm trying to be very careful, like, not to break it while I'm trying to take the, 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 the things off. And, um, uh, hmm, which way should I have these? Oh, there's a lock on the sides of here. Kind of, it's got a strap. Like, old Nintendo consoles had these straps. I have one on my 3DS, and I think the Wii, I think the Wii 
think the Wii was the first console to do that sort of thing, have straps on the controller. Um, uh, I'm trying to think how you do it. Oh yeah, it always slides in like, like this. Am I doing this incorrectly? It seems, sure as hell seems like it. Okay. Plus, oh, okay, I see how that goes. I see how that goes now. You're supposed to, I think you're supposed to have the minus. See how it feels like this. It still feels tight as hell holding it like this. Let's see, let's, let's try the other way. Ugh. 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 Sorry, this, this video seems kind of boring, but. Let's have the video just trying to get these damn things in there without breaking. Okay. I'm just, I'm scared of accidentally, like, snapping the internal workings of the of this thing. Because this is some serious technology we got going on right here. It feels good. Like, the wrist strap, it feels like any, you know, good old wrist strap can feel. And, uh, so, yeah. And we got the ultimate customization. We have every single cut. You can play the Switch in any kind of way, I'm sure you all know that, but actually experiencing every possible way to play this, like just like just holding just holding it, figuring out the different uh, play styles, it's uh, all three styles, or to be on the the dock, the the this thing, I don't remember what it's called, it's Joy-Con grip, and um, the Joy-Con hand straps. All three styles feel very comfortable. The fourth style, on the other hand, using just the one remote, that, that is, is very uncomfortable. And I don't think I'll be playing like that very often unless the situation call, calls for it. Yeah, so... <laughs> I'm trying to think. In Sumo Odyssey, how does second player controls Cappy? So does that mean I would have to play like this? Probably. Uh, <laughs> So let's put this bad boy in the dock. Uh, I'm real hoping I don't run out of space on this damn thing, but um, I think no, I can have it in like this. I can have it in like this without the, the without the joy cons. So yeah, I'm worried about scratching this thing too by mistake. Uh, da -da 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 -da. May as well leave it in the dock. I mean, trying to. Oh yeah, the power button's right there. And uh... Wait a minute, the AC adapter... The fuck did I do with that? That's not... This is... It's the only thing I didn't take out. This is the charger, you know. This is like the charger for when you're going out and stuff. Yeah. I don't feel the need to untangle this because that would take way too much time. I'll do it, though, although we do have bubble wrap. <laughs> so, um, uh, I'm a... Everything's gonna fall on the floor, but I won't give a damn. I finally got this thing. Shit. Damn it, this is tricky. This is like... Wait. This is, this is honestly really tricky trying to take this out. And I'm having a very hard time trying to do that. Hold on, let me... Pause. You know why I couldn't get off? The stupid lock was still on there. Oh yeah. Random object of the day. It's, it's my Mario. Damn it, it's my Mario shirt. One of the two shirts I, I have like this. I have two shirts exactly like this, but this one's blue and the other one I got is gray. And uh... Well, yeah, I bought this in JCPenney. I, I don't I can't even tell. I bought this in JCPenney when I went to Chicago and I got the second one for a Christmas one year. Like one or two years ago. And when you're taking these things out, make sure the lock is off if, if for some reason you don't have a switch yet. Like me! If for some reason you're waiting two months to play Super Mario Odyssey, like me! So yeah, let me, uh... But the Joy-Cons there, because yeah, apparently I, got, I I gotta charge this first, just like with the Wii U. Um, so yeah, now let's... Yeah. This isn't fucking mind blowing. This is so surreal that I even have this. The Switch Joy-Con boys. Let me hold it like Etika does. 
Yeah, I'm a huge fan of Etical World Network, by the way. He is one of my favorite YouTubers, just like Nathaniel Bandy. He is one of the most hilarious YouTubers that there is. That there is. And, um, what am I doing next? Mario, I see where are you? There you are. So, yes, I finally got this son of a bitch. And, uh, let's figure out how to open it. I probably need an, a knife or something. I My keys, I could use my keys, maybe. Uh, uh, shit. This is never easy. This always takes a long time. I know this is boring as hell. But, yeah, you guys don't know how long I've been waiting to get this damn game. I've been waiting ever since... Uh, ever since I found out of its inception last year, I last October, in an in initial Switch reveal trailer, I've been dying to see what this game is about, and uh, I finally <laughs> got it in my hands! Yay, happy dance! Oh my god! Yes, that, that that's not over-exaggeration, that's like real feelings. Uh, and yes, holy fucking shit, these cartridges are fucking tiny! God damn, they are tiny. Like, good God. Jesus, these are like the tiniest cartridges I've ever seen. Yo, dude, these are tinier than the Nintendo DS cartridges. Look at this shit. Like, you see how tiny this thing is? This thing is like, like, as wide as like a quarter. At best. Can I put the game in there yet? Oh, and never mind the fact that the lyrics <clears throat> to Jump Up Superstar are in the damn case. <clears throat> I, I knew that already, but I've been just, just been waiting to see how tiny these cart... <sighs> just how tiny these cartridges actually are. I dropped it on carpet from like an inch off the ground, so <sighs> no biggie on that. And no, I'm not taste testing this, especially since it came on the floor right now. I'm not, I was debating on doing a taste test of this, but then, then I realized I, I don't want to be sick. So, yeah. Put the game in there. Uh, yeah, it fits nice, it fits nice in there. It fits really nice in there. Oh yeah, there's a volume button up here. And uh, power button's right there. So yeah. I believe that is it. Also, these game cases are, are about are about as small as say PSP cases. But yeah, <clears throat> random fun fact. Another one. I'll give you another one. This is the <clears throat> only mainstream Mario game to be rated E10. And <clears throat> um, and I don't know why I'm having drawing such a blank, but yeah. <laughs> This, however, this isn't the only Mario game to be rated E10. There's actually four in total. First, it was, uh, um, well, I'm not going to go to order. I'm just going to, there, there's this, there's uh, Donkey Kong Jungle Beat, there's, there's, I believe both Mario Strikers games are rated E10. Hell, I think one of them is actually rated teen. I think the, I think the, the second one is actually rated teen. And then, uh, Super Smash Bros. 4 is rated E10, and it, it, if you if you want to count that a Mario game, that is. I always kind of did count Smash Bros. as a, as a Mario game, but it, it's more more of a, more of a more of a Nintendo game because Nathaniel Bandy inclu included that in, in his top ten for for his top ten Mario games. He decided to go with picking one Smash Bros. game, and even because yeah, I I guess he considers Smash Bros. games to be a, the Mario games too, not just Nintendo games. I mean. Uh, the form of Giga Bowser did debut in the Super Smash Bros. titles, whereas not, he hasn't, he has yet to make an appearance in an actual Mario game. Yeah, <laughs> so, um, yeah, uh, <laughs> and what's funny is that Giga Bowser was actually planned to be in, to be in, uh, his appearance in Skylanders, but he, he, he had a different form. He, he had a brand new original form to Skylanders known as Molten Bowser. So yeah, it's interesting how in different franchises there are, there are forms of Bowser that, exclu that are exclusive to those franchises. Because yeah. And also Giga Bowser freaked me the hell out as a kid. 
and I'm sure it did all you guys too. But anyways, <laughs> if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe. Be sure to stay tuned for, I don't know, um, an, uh, an, an update, a uh, January and February 2018 update. But yeah, I'm going to charge this thing and then I'm going to blade this son of a bitch and then we are going to, to get on out there. So yeah, I am Alex Wimmer, aka ap 3 Jump. Thank you so much for watching until the end. That is it for me, and I'll see you soon. Sorry if my presentation's a little out of whack today, but apparently I don't know how to. Apparently I still. What does it say? I'm just I'm just random as hell, I get it. But there's times where I completely draw blanks while recording. <laughs> yeah. I'm nowhere near as eccentric as Attica. I mean, I am, I can't, I'm eccentric when I want to be, but nowhere near as much as him. So, yeah. Joke on boys. I finally did it. I finally got this thing. Well worth it. Well worth the wait, I should say. Goodbye. See you next time.